Hello and welcome to a special effects tutorial from Aroha Media. In this assignment, we are going to learn how to animate the flame of a candle. Techniques used in this are Shape Twin and Shape Hints. Select the flash file which is provided as a ready-made illustration in the pre-production material. Open it. The name of the file is Candlelight. Draw one oval. Delete the outline. Select and place it on the candle as seen in the video. Create the corner by pressing Ctrl at the upper portion. Create the shape of a flame. Use Selection tool for adjustments. It's easy to create this effect as we have used these techniques before in the fire assignment. Change the color, convert it into a symbol by pressing the shortcut key F8. Give the name Fire12 to the symbol. Inside the symbol, change the position, that is, the pivot point should be on the lower side so that it can move left to right. For this, shift it by going inside the symbol. Come outside and place the symbol on the flame. Effect of this is seen in the animation. Give the name fire to the layer inside the symbol. Add keyframes to the 10th and 20th frames. Right click and add shape twin. Slightly animate the upper portion of the flame of the middle key, 10th key. Follow the steps as shown in the video. The animation effect is visible in the shape twin. The animation plays in the loop as the first and the last keys are the same. For variation, increase the timing. Add the same key on the 20th frame by pressing Alt and dragging it. Make some changes on the frame as seen in the video. Take care that the first and the last key are the same so that the animation plays in the smooth loop and nothing jerks around. Change the shape in the middle. Press Ctrl plus Enter for preview. The result is not visible as the frames are not added outside the scene. Press F5 to add a new frame on the 30th keyframe. Preview it to see the animation. Add two shape hints A and B on the first key. Place it as shown on the screen. On the 10th key, change the position. The shape is distorted, so add one more shape hint C. Place it on the 10th key and match it. Some strange changes occur while animating, so keep experimenting on the position. Now, the distortion disappears. We have used this technique in the fire and the flag assignment before so you are familiar with it. Add new hints from the 10th key till the 20th key. Take A and B hints again. Change its position as seen in the video. There is still some distortion there. So, add more hints and match it. Animation is visible as shape hints are matched. Add 3 hints from the 20th frame till the 30th keyframe. Match it as shown on the screen. More realistic due to the slight movement in the shape. Change the color. Use a radial gradient, fill it on the first key. Use alpha channel. Keep the opacity low. Use a radial gradient so that the middle is yellow. Please recall the introduction tutorials where we have studied how to use gradients in detail. Decrease the size by using gradient transform tool. Change the position. Make some changes to the color. Now we can see 
a good animated flame. Come on the main scene and select the two objects, the candle and its flame. Now duplicate this shape by pressing down the Alt key. Scale it up. This is not the part of a special effect, but it's very important if multiple candles are placed. As per the candle, insert a shadow. Use the oval tool for drawing an oval. Use the gradient option for this. Edit the colors as shown in the video. And place it on the lower side of the candle. A good impact of it is visible in one frame. Preview it to see the candle light shadow. Add one more layer on the shadow. Name it Glow. Add one circle. Delete the outline. Change the color in the same gradient. Keep experimenting on the color like orange, red, yellow required for glow. Due to these two things, a better effect is seen on the overall frame. Add slight animation to it later so that it will add more value to our scene. Change the color of the flame of the front candle. The symbols are the same so any changes made in the first symbol will also reflect in all the duplicates. Adjust again by gradient transform tool. Make the flame dark. More the experiments, better will be the result. Change the colors, opacity value. Whatever change is made, it is reflected. The opaque frame appears. Pick the color and fill it on each key. Make some changes to the two middle keys by using the Radiant Transform tool. Its impact is seen. Preview it to see the result. Come to the main scene and select Glow. Change its values and decrease its intensity. Convert it into a group. Create its duplicate by pressing Alt key. Place it on the back side of the front candle. Using Transform tool, scale it up. Scale down the back flame using Transform tool. More improved effect is seen. Lock all the layers. Add one more layer. Make it yellow and change its opacity to 9. Scale it by using Transform tool. Now we can see a nice flame effect being animated. Thank you.